everybody, it's Keith with Bob CNC. Welcome to Shop Talk. I'm here today with my best friend, the Evolution 4, and then Bob sitting in beside that. Well, I'm here with my best friend, Keith, <laughs> but let me tell you a story of why I lost best friend uh, status. Status, yeah. Yeah, you'll get it. You may never get it back. Yeah. Yeah. So yesterday we were walking through one of our garage doors, and they yep. had electric Going garage out doors. Going the shop, yes. I always stop it when it gets about above my head. Right. Well, so was, about five foot three. Wow, that hurts. Yeah, I'm not as that. much as... But my giant friend, I guess it wasn't tall enough when no, I had to stop. When you stopped it, I so just I heard kept this going. dunk. And a few words. And then there was some stuff. Yeah, some words Lots of said, prayer. But there was, it was on the ground. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so... No I'm longer. really hurting. I am terribly sorry. Well, it's okay. I mean, af after I quit laughing, I did feel bad. Yeah, yeah, you... Yeah, okay, I'll take your word for it. All right, so what uh, are we talking about today? Well, we're talking about what you tried to do to me yesterday. Thumper. Which was to to tram me. Yeah, yeah, I, that's right. Because you've always thought that was a few adjusted. degrees off. Yeah. You did adjust me. Okay, good. Down near, down okay, near so, killed me. So first of all, okay. well, I came up with this, I'm going to call it a simple tramming tool. You now, know why? Because it's a simple, simple tramming tool. tool. Yeah. Yeah. So, what does a uh, a cheap tramming tool cost, Keith? It's cheap. No, not this one. Oh, like you mean you, like if you're going to buy one? Yeah. Oh, about a hundred bucks. Yeah, that's probably the least expensive you're yeah. going to get. But you can spend, you know, three, four, probably six or eight hundred dollars. We charge six hundred. <laughs> oh wow! That <laughs> yeah. could be some profit margin. Oh there. yes, there is. All right. So we came up with this tool. Now, first of all, notice there's a warning that you're going to want your router unplugged. And this is really simple. You're gonna I don't think they can read that. Well, I think you should read maybe that. Maybe Kristen will get us a Kristen get us a close up. Okay. No, right. she won't get. Yeah, whatever. She'll, she'll put it on the uh, beginning right. of it. Hang on. Well, it says simple Hang tram on to tool. Your tram tool. Unplug router. Okay. So the, there's only really a little bit of math for this. Yeah. And from the center of the bit, which has to be a quarter inch bit, to the point, it's 115 millimeters. And the only reason why that's important is. If you have one millimeter off the table to zero when you turn it on the other side, that means you're going to be a quarter of a degree out. So it's just kind of some trig, right? So a little bit of math. Just I thought I just trigonometry thought, yeah. is not a little bit of math. Okay, it is really a little bit of math is how much is milk? Okay, so <laughs> jeez. Okay, how much? Is, never mind. Anyway, so how do you use this tramming tool? This is uh, this is how you use it. So you're going to take a quarter inch bit. You're going to use some zip ties because I love zip you ties. You do. And then, um, you know, it's not a very rigid tool. You can see <laughs> I can flex it back and forth. So you, right. you're not going to want to touch it while you're doing it. But uh, you would use the machine to uh, get that yeah. as close as you can. And then with the router unplugged, of course, you would walk this around. Yes. And then if it bumps in a certain area, you would know that that's the low point. Right? So there it bumps. It's up. You can hear it maybe. Right? I and now you would know. The, yeah, but I can hear the scraping. Yeah. yeah. So now you know which way that the router needs to tilt because it needs to be touching as it goes all the way around or as close as, as you want to uh, play to get it. So in the manual, it talks about if you're going to rotate, we would call this around the x axis, right? Then your eccentric spacers are going to help you out. Right. And if you're going to rotate this way or this way around what we would call the y axis, then you're either going to have to shim the top or the bottom. Now this also, uh, I, we get a lot of questions about uh, surfacing the small board. Yeah, what do you so, want to do first? Yeah, yeah, which comes first. So it's really kind of an iterative process. Yes. So the first thing that you would want to do is get it, it trammed as close as possible. Right. Right. And then you will go ahead and take and, uh, and go ahead and surface your spoil board. Right. And if you have any saw tooth left, Right, where little the bit, ridges, right? Where, yeah, so it's ridge on one side and it just you know bumps up and goes right. down. Then you would want to set like maybe a, a piece of glass or something really flat over that and then re trim so that it's spanning those saw twos, right? And then resurface, and that should get you right on the money. That's it, okay? So, uh, if you're interested in our little tram tool, uh, they're 600 again, bucks, they're 600 dollars. <laughs> Who I don't think we're going to, sales aren't going to be good, but they no. don't have to be, right? Uh, let us know. Um, we're, we're trying to figure out if it's uh, valuable enough for everybody to actually include in the kit. Right. Or, you know. Or maybe, you can design your own. You can, Yeah, I definitely, I can put the file out there for you guys that want right. to cut your own. Maybe that's even a better right. idea. 
Anyway. So anyway, till next guy got in that. I'm hurting, Bob. That hit your <laughs> yeah, yeah. is affected Well, until next time, oh, you watch out for garage doors. Tonkin, he was yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Bye, guys. Bob.